Hello. I wanted to talk about uni. Because uni is one of those things you feel obliged to do. Like, like liking your best friend's music, or, or trying not to laugh when a stranger trips and falls on the pavement. It's one of those things that you feel you ought to do. That'll make you a better person. And it's because of parents, and it's because of school, and they've told you ever since you were a kid that uni is the thing you need to do. It's almost mandatory. But it's not. It's massively not. I mean, I'm making this video because I'm leaving uni myself at the moment. I'm dropping out. It's, it's not right for me. And and I think... Alright, I, th I think there are reasons to go to uni, and if it's not fulfilling any of those for you, then it it's a waste of time. And I've got my three reasons. The first of which is, if there's a specific job you want, such as, you know, brain surgeon, and um, you need a degree for it, obviously, then go to uni. Uni is a great place to get a degree. Go there. Great. Totally understand if that's what you want to do. Good for you. If you want, if you, um, if you love the subject, if you adore the subject and you just want to learn more about it, and you think uni will teach it to you, go for it. That's why I went. I love art. And of course, wasn't right for me, and it actually didn't teach me anything. But I mean, if it's geography or something, it might work better for you. So I mean, if you go there and you're finding that you're learning a lot about the subject and you love it, brilliant. Uni's for you. Good. And lastly, if you have some kind of drinking issue and you want student finance to pay for that, uni's perfect. That you'll blend in perfectly. But apart from that. If it's not fulfilling any of those, don't go. Don't feel obliged to go. It's not. You don't have to. You can still be a perfectly successful, happy person without it. And it's just, it is a waste of time if you're not getting anything from it. So I'm begging you, please don't. If you're not getting anything from uni and you're doubting it now, just plan something else out. I've got three things, three more things, that you could do in the four years instead of going to uni. Four brilliant things which you can just do, the first of which, which I love, it's, it's a brilliant idea, I absolutely love this and I want to do this. You can, fairly cheaply, you can buy an old bus, rip out all of the seats, fill it with pillows and blankets, and go on a massive four year long road trip instead of going to uni. You could go with friends, you could travel around Europe in this old bus that you've remodeled and it would be incredible just living inside of. That's the plan. Your second one, you can start your own YouTube channel, which is what I'm doing. Because I reckon if you make four years worth of videos, someone Somewhere is going to see it and subscribe. You'll get noticed somehow. Do YouTube videos. That's a good plan. You can do that instead. Even in my last one, build a fort and watch a four year long Disney marathon. Which, yeah, a bit sad. But you have to admit that sounds awesome. And if you're not enjoying the course, there are so many other things to do. I mean, we've been taught that it's basically like either go to uni or just sit at home unemployed. There are other things to do, there are other options. You don't just have to get a job in Tesco's. You can still do cool things if you haven't been to uni. So that's why I'm making this video. Be brave enough if it's not doing anything for you just to try something else. Um, and a uh, because I've seen other people do it. You can subscribe down at the bottom of the screen or like this video, I'd love that. Please like this video. Or do comments, even better. I'd love to hear from you.